Hello and welcome to the Artist Studio in the past 30 days in art. This month we're going to discuss what happens if an artist has a bad month in art. It's something most of us uh, would keep silent and it's a, a situation I thought I'd, uh, issue I thought I'd address this month because I had a rough month. Uh, a bad month in art can, created for all, can be created from all sorts of reasons. There was lots of external pressures. My mind wasn't in the game, and I just had my, my thoughts on other things. So then when I went to perform, of course, I wasn't as happy with what I created. This month, the pressure was extra because I'd already sold some of the works in the collection. So, but nonetheless, we're going to make this video to let you see what happens when you produce but don't produce quality of work that you necessarily wanted to and let you inside the studio again. Alright, so this is where the month started as I recall. I started with some naturalist studies. The skull I had around the house, the things I had around the house. This particular one is obviously a skull. You can see traditional, my traditional style of a continuous line drawing and then I'm working on doing more highly rendered drawings. So that was my concentration this month, and that was part of the reason I had a long month in art, is because I'm weak point training, and one of the things I'm weak point training on is working on tones and bringing finished products to higher realism. And if you were to ask me, all my works have a certain amount of realism, just an expressionistic realism, which comes from me. It's a emotional realism rather than a a realistic representation or rendering. This here is a tonal butterfly in which I challenged myself to try to draw the render the the butterfly as realistically as possible, work on the patterns and tones. This is one of the works that made it into this month's collection, partially because it's not my traditional style, and uh, I thought the collector would appreciate that. So this here you will recognize is one of my standard portraits. It's okay, it was a quick continuous line drawing. It was done uh, very quickly at the beginning of the month. Looks like me, feels like me. It's even got a couple missing teeth. Once again, this is me trying to hone my skills in weak point train. I started doing this because I found myself being bored in my automatic word drawings, just bored in general. So then I went back to the basics. Not too happy with this, and some of these drawings I'm actually embarrassed to show. This here is a drawing from a book, which as I've stated before, I tend to not do. I tend to draw from life because there's a certain energy in life that goes with it. I'm very happy with this drawing because I've never taken a drawing to this level. Uh, for this particular one, uh, I managed to outdo myself, and it also makes its way into this month's collector collection. This is another work that makes its uh, way into this month's collection. It's a continuous line gestural drawing. What I like about it is it's, uh, a gestural drawing captures the gesture of the figure, and this captures the gesture very nicely. The reason I threw this in to this month's collection is the collector collects Aboriginal arts, and if you were to ask me, this has a certain totem feeling involved in it. If you can't see what the image here is, and this is a figure drawing from a figure session, there's the head there, shoulders, body, and legs. I thought he'd appreciate that, because I thought it would go with the rest of his collection. Now here's where things start to get a little difficult, or where I was not too happy with things. So as I just finished saying, drawing from life, there's a certain movement or energy in this, and for whatever reason, this month, I just didn't have it. Part of it has to do with the dynamics that go on between an a artist and, a, and, a, and the model. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Both models that I had this uh, month were very good models, but for extraneous, extraneous uh, circumstances, it just didn't work for me. I found, this, uh, the, I found there's, these are pretty lifeless drawings. There are certain aspects in the drawings that I like, and other aspects that I uh, that I think, you know, I might as well be a, no a novice again. In this particular work, I like the hand. The rest of it could be thrown in the garbage. Once again, this is a nice drawing. Proportions are off. That doesn't bother me too much. If you look, there's nice movement, 
but in general it's a flat drawing. There's not too much expression in the lines. Once again, a first year college student could have created that. One of the things I've been working on, and I, I always try to draw around the house, one of the things I've been working on a great deal is hands and feet. The reason I've been concentrating on hands and feet is because hands and feet in figure are supposed to be the hardest thing to draw. Another reason I've been working on hands and feet is because I got something planned, and I'm not too sure what I have planned <laughs> at the moment, and sometimes art's just like that, but I know I'm going to be doing something with... Uh, tattoos in my hands there so this was me having this is me at drawings in the mid stage and the drawings are are garbage <laughs> literally they should be torn out they won't be here's blind uh, contour or these are contour drawings I think the fingers look like sausage there's not too much movement then once again drawing from books bang and that's Hogarth Hands, and this is another work that makes it into this month's collection. So continuing on, these are figure drawing, uh, these are hands from figure drawing class. Once again, they're flat, the fingers look like sausages, there's not too much movements in the drawing. As I stated multiple times, my mind was elsewhere. We're also going to get into some figure drawings here. This here is a mass contour drawing. The idea being you use mass to create the image. Even with all the energy in these lines, you look and it just looks like uh, a flat piece of fat blob sausage or something like that. So it's a very unsuccessful drawing. And in some of these drawings, there's parts that I appreciate or like, but in general, I just didn't pull it off. I like the energy of this. You can see it's a leg and a foot. You can see the movement across. So it's probably done in 30 seconds, which is how figure drawings start. A session goes 10 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes. It's another figure. Once again, it's got nice movement. The proportions are off. I'm not happy. Yeah, it's got nice movement in it. The proportions are off. I'm not happy with the shoulders. Once again, there's there's moments in this drawing or, or parts of this drawing that are pretty nice. If you look at that foot and that leg, as well as this hand over here, I think those are really nice. Um, those are have really nice movement and feeling in them. But then if you look up towards this shoulder, the roundness of it, uh, it doesn't move in space, so it actually sort of flattens the rest of the figure out. I'm also sort of happy with that head, even though I drew it off the, off the page. Same figure, and this figure was actually very, very dynamic and very energetic and put lots of effort into their, their job. Unfortunately, I just didn't have it to give it to them, and they left me in the dust. And it's nice to have a challenging, big, uh, challenging model, but sometimes you get your ass kicked by them. So now, here's some color works from the, the first figure session of the month. This guy was very handsome and had very nice features. Unfortunately, he just liked to sort of sit there. And that happens. Once again, we have a mass contour drawing that I wasn't too happy with. Try not to get pastel on another drawing here as I'm looking at this. You can see these are all B grade drawings. This here was one of the, the one drawing I, I I got out of that first figure drawing session. I liked the movement. I appreciated the colors. I think there's just a certain 
a certain dynamic in the drawing that uh, I appreciate and I hope the uh, collector appreciates. So this also made it into this month's collection. This is the same figure session. Portions are off, there's okay movement. I like the lines, but in general, it's just an average drawing, which doesn't make art. Just because a drawing is a, a drawing by an artist, it doesn't always make it art. I'll make sure that I'm not uh, beyond myself. There's lots of scribbles, some month of scribbles, searching for lines, trying to see where the figure starts and ends. Actually, this will work. If you look at these, that's just scribbles. It looks like scribbles throughout the drawing. Now let's look at these. Once again, it's gestural drawings, just scribbles, but isn't there a certain movement? Can't you see the figure? Can't you see the form? So this drawing here completes the collection of this month, unless I miscounted. Anyways, I know there's six. I see a couple drawings back here. So here are some very embarrassing drawings, which a child probably could have done, or as I stated, a, a first year, a first session figure drawer. They will make their way into the recycling. So we're going to take a jump back to the middle of the month. This is uh, some drawings I just found that I realized I skipped. Uh, this is a blind, blind contour drawing of my daughter. I think this is, uh, the, the blind contour means I was only looking at the figure and not looking at the page uh, as I drew. I think this catches an excellent representation of my daughter as it catches her essence and spirit. And when I look at her, I, I see her in this drawing. As opposed to when I tried to render her more efficiently, and I did that for the both of us, because in general, I avoid drawing those I care about. I avoid drawing those I care about because they have certain expectations of how they should look, and my style doesn't necessarily adhere to the expectations someone might have. This looks like a drawing out of the first week of uh, the Betty Goodwin, uh, I think it's Goodwin, Betty Edwards course, <laughs> drawing from the right side of the brain. Sport at the end of a figure class, trying to figure out a way to, I'm using five pencils, trying to figure out a way to make some art after a rough class. So final sketches. You can see there's no rhythm in the drawings. There's no rhythm, the proportions are off. It's an okay blind contour drawing. It's again, I'm looking at the, the model not the page. Poor shortenings off, perspectives off. Once again, rhythm is lost in the drawing. And this is actually, even though it's a bad drawing, if that's what you wanted to call it, it's actually one of my favorite ones from this month. I like the way it was rendered. I like the hand, I like the foot, I like the fact that I can see that I'm working on finding the joints. And uh, although it's unsuccessful, I think, I think there's something to it. So that was the past 30 days in art. I thought I'd share what it was like for an uh, for, for, uh, artist having a rough month in the studio so you could see the idea of what it's like to have a creative block. A creative block might not necessarily that the artist isn't producing. It could be that they're not producing quality work and then therefore the work just goes into the recycling. One of the reasons I shared this for you is so that you could see why an artist needs to be paid equi equitably for their work. Because for every work of art that you see, there could be hundreds, thousands, who knows how many drawings that never made it. And everybody always wants the big next piece. Well, the truth is, in order to create the big next piece, all these little works have to be created. 
the more pressure on an artist to survive and make these works, the harder it is to create them. Also, these smaller works also have values within themselves. So that was a month in the artist studio. Like it or love it, the month is over. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by.